and well, you're here for now, so thank you. When you're ready, hit the favorite on my guests. I will have two amazing guests. Um, I gotcha, gotcha, thank you. Appreciate you, Emoji J. Make sure you're favoriting Emoji J. He is one of the best contacts for um, recording, website development, IT on the platform. So if you're interested in being a featured show host or you already have a show that you want recorded, he is a great person to contact. He is also an admin for many shows, so he can help you grow your persona on the apps if you're interested in being on shows. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Happy Saturday, happy Sunday, happy whatever time it is for you in the world. I am grateful again for you joining us tonight for the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. <laughs> That's me, I'm your host. And yes, you'll notice I'm wearing reader glasses. I'm getting up there in age, y'all. I'm a more mature streamer. My original username was Live a Love Laugh 2110 when I joined Plenty of Fish back in 2018. So I have been a member of the community for many years, but as a live streamer, we're going on three years, three and a half years. So thank you again for joining us. Let me do um, some, thank you for the butterflies. I appreciate you, Steve-O. Um, so if you know about featured shows, there's just a few things that we do in here. Um, all of them should do this and most of them do. We make it an inclusive place. So while you're in here, please be respectful to yourself, to others, and uh, make it a positive place for all. Um, if you are new to the community, please feel free to chat. Um, as long as it is kind and respectful, you're welcome in here. While I'm doing the show, you'll see that I mostly interact with the pre-arranged guests. And if you're interested in being a guest on my show, would love to have you. Please reach out to me on Instagram. It is linked in my bio. Uh, my Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube, well, most of that is on Emoji Jay's YouTube. So he can put that in the chat because all the shows are recorded. Uh, at least we've got about 40 something, maybe 45 shows of the 90, 91. <laughs> Tonight is our 91st episode um, or show. Season seven, episode seven, and I'm going to take a break. <laughs> Busy summer mom life. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell your friends. We're going to send a little blast here. Oh, no. Did I have the date box up the whole time? Jeez. Let me turn off my gifts. Hello. I'm new here. <laughs> Hi. Have you met me? <laughs> I've never streamed before. <laughs> Welcome in. If you know me, I love a good laugh. I love people. I love getting people together and to build a fun place for all, um, whether it be in real life or on the internet. So welcome and enjoy the show. Um, hi, shout out to Stockton, I see you. Everybody feel free, 111 viewers. So that sounds like it's time for the intro. All right, so sit back, get comfortable, grab a snack, get a beverage and enjoy the show. Thank you again for being here. Reach out to me on Instagram if you would like to be a guest as well. All right. So without further ado, please welcome in. Well, okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> he was here and now he's gone. Okay. Oh, somebody's having a burr. All right. Shout out to that. <laughs> um, and welcome in everybody. Chat with everybody. I love to see the chat flowing. I do pay attention to the comments. So do my bouncers. Um, so again, keep it inclusive. Keep it, keep it fun. Keep it positive. Um, and when Emoji J is ready, he was here um, and he had to hop out because he is very busy doing so many things for the platforms. So when he's ready, we'll start the intro and he is also recording for our YouTube channel. So um, Emoji J, testing, testing, are you here? <laughs> I took a little longer um, on my intro than I do sometimes, so. All right, I'm in the box. What? You're in right now? Um, there was somebody else in there, so I cleared it. Can you clear it and come back? Hello, welcome, everyone, welcome. Hi, Kevin. Um, Y'all keep an eye on the um, on the chats for me, my reds, please, thank you. But be positive, be encouraging, be welcoming. Let them know it's a featured show, that I can't address every comment, that we will connect after 8 or 8.15. And I appreciate you so much. Uh, Emoji J, it's not showing. Should I do a wifi?
let's see. Did it work? Am I back? Can we try it again? Um, Emoji J, if you want to request the guest box. Thank you, Papa Bear Sings. Papa Bear Sings will be doing our, um, it's not showing. It's not having, it's, you're not in the box. Give me a second. All gifts are welcome. <laughs> I can't acknowledge them so much during the show, but I am grateful. All right. So anybody, let's see, here we go. We're live. We're live. Okay, let's go. Live channel broadcasting. It's more than you think. All right, here he is. Let's go. The intro. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I let go, let go I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know Maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town I've heard of this place where People forget and you get another try So come open up my door I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by I won't see your face where After I look, I'm going to put the light I let go, let go, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside You know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Emoji J is amazing He created that I mean, I'm sure it took more time than it looked like, but wow, he is amazing. And he definitely hit the nail on the head as we co-created it um, with the images to the song. And thank you so much for joining us. This is Living and Loving with Triple L. I am your host, Triple L. Thank you so much for being here. Shout out to the 27,453 people who have decided I'm worth the favorites. Thank you for all the gifts in advance. Please get ready to favorite my guests. You can gift them in the guest box. I encourage that. I love that. It, they are giving their time and their energy tonight to share stories about their life in streaming, but also in real life and in love. So please spoil them. Be kind and be respectful and let's have some fun. All right. So we do things every week. All right. We do living, we do loving, and we do laughing. Live well, love more, laugh always. There's a hidden L, and I'll talk to you about that after the show. All right, so again, season seven, episode seven, 91st show recorded, only missed two weeks in almost two years. Okay, okay, thank you all. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. I think that's a, no small feat being a single mom of three beautiful butterflies. All right, it is June 24th, 2023. It is also Pride Month. So for just a moment, I'd like you to take a deep breath. And, hi, my funky, not funky. Relax, get comfortable, get a beverage, get a snack, enjoy the energy in the room and enjoy being alive. So it is Pride Month. And I would like everyone to either somehow put an emoji in the chat, but or just say it out loud. Everybody say love. Everybody say love with an emoji, with the words. Type it if you feel it. Say it. Everybody say love. Love is love. Love is love. 
love is love. And it is the best thing to heal, to inspire, and to connect. It's the reason why I put it in the middle. I'm not live, laugh, love. I am live, love, laugh. So thank you for joining us. Let's have a great show together. It is because of you that I'm still here after three years, three and a half years streaming as a featured show host. So shout out to Plenty of Fish Scout, Meet Me, and all the partners of the Meet Group. Our healthy living tip this week. I want you to be kind to yourself. Whatever you're going through, wherever you are in life, take a moment, please. You saw me just model it for you. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a hug. Put your heart, your hand over your heart. You made it this far. You're here. You're here. You're worthy of love. You deserve love. You should give yourself love. Please be good to yourself. Be kind to yourself. If we are not kind to ourselves, we cannot expect others to be kind to ourselves. And as we know, this world is a wild place right now. So please, if you're kind to yourself, there's more likely you're gonna be kind to others. That is our healthy living tip of this week. Our loving affirmation, which I pull every week from my mentors who is in heaven, uh, Louise Hayes and Robert Holden. He is still with us. These are the Life Loves You Oracle cards. Um, they're not oracles, just kidding. <laughs> Life Loves You affirmation cards. They're oracles too. Pulled before the show I do every week. Sometimes I shuffle on screen, but this week I pulled it. You're welcome to screenshots. You're welcome to put it in the chat. Everybody welcome in. My bouncers, please let everyone know. Thank you, Queen Lala. Oh, thank you, Queen. Let them know where they are, what we're doing, and encourage them to stay. And if they don't want to stay, that's okay. Swipe left or right, you'll find another channel. And I hope you're happy there. Come back when you're ready. Hit that favorite whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. Our loving affirmation this week is I let grace lead the way. I let grace lead the way. Feel free to type it in the chat. Meditate on it. Screenshot it. I love the staircase. And I'll read to you the back side and I'll let you screenshot that as well. Take the first step and you will be shown the next step and the one after that. Know that life will love you every step of the way. So again, no matter what you're going through, please be kind to yourself. And know if you take a step in faith with honor, respect and love, that that next step will appear a healthy step, a good step. All right. Okay. Now on to the best part of the show. Just kidding. It's my guests. They're the best part, but my favorite part. And I, I always tell you, put on your silly socks, put on your silly hat, put on your, whatever silly energy you want. We're all, you know, doing the best we can in this wild world, right? Let's laugh for just a few seconds. Okay. So this is my silly hat of the night. Shout out to Pokemon. <laughs> Chris Casper loves them. So do my kids and so do I. All right, here we go. So silly hat on and guest one, if you could request the box, that will be Princess Belle. And we have Hot Wheels up second. Um, so whenever you're ready, Princess Belle, I'll ask you to request the guest box. Looks like you are ready. Thank you so much. I will have you in in just a moment. Okay, here we go. It's come on get silly okay get silly just for a minute let your hair down let your toes wiggle i don't know whatever makes you feel free and and happy for just a few minutes okay what do you call a butterfly with no wings these are butterfly jokes <laughs> this week it's butterfly jokes what do you call a butterfly with no wings yes <laughs> yes Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for being here. And yes, a caterpillar. <laughs> you get to bounce your status for that. All right. Shout out to the AYP family. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, Panda, love you. Okay. So what do you call a caterpillar with no wings? A ca I, I failed. I failed. I failed. Come on, laugh. Laugh, Larry. Laugh, Queen Lala. Everybody, come on. If you can't laugh at yourself, who are you laughing at? 
Okay, thank you for the emojis. I appreciate you. Shout out to the 390 people that thought it was okay to pop in here and hang out for just a few minutes with Triple L, little old me. Welcome. This is the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. You haven't missed much. It will be recorded on YouTube when you're ready to watch it again. Or for the first time, we have two amazing guests coming up, Sniper Bell and Hot Wheels. Um, they have wonderful stories to share. So please get comfortable and feel welcome in here and enjoy the vibes. We're the good vibe tribe. Okay. What did the butterfly say to the very shy cocoon? What did the butterfly say to the very shy cocoon? My team, you came to see me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not me blushing. Okay. Um, trust me, it'll be more fun once you're out of your shell. So what did the butterfly say to the very shy cocoon? Trust me, it'll be more fun once you're out of your shell. I think we can all follow that, right? Just again, get your silly energy on just for a few minutes. After this, go back to your adult energy, your stressful lives, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? I'm gonna put on my readers for a second because I can barely see the chat and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm about to be 46 years old. My eyes said no, I say yes. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. All right. Without further ado, I want to welcome in the amazing Sniper Bell is how I met her and knew her on this platform. She has changed her name, as many of us do, as we evolve as streamers. She is now Princess Bell. So please welcome her in. Thank you for the laughy faces. Thank you for all the gifts. Top gifter of the stream. We'll get a shout out on Instagram. And yes, I'm a, a week or two behind on those, but they do get out. I promise. I promise. Okay. Princess Bell, welcome in. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hi. Hi. Thank you for being here. Now, I know you just got out of, um, you know, you said you had some things you were doing today. You're a busy woman. So yes. which size box would you like to be in? I can put you at the small or medium. I do not medium. know how to do the, okay, no. great. All right, Perfect. I'll take okay. the comments. <laughs> okay. Now, her name right now is Fave for Fave, which I love that. Could you tell people why it's that and um, a little bit about you? Well, Fave for Fave is because I like to get my com my uh, faves up because I like the support on here. And I want to try to become a top bitch without being a VIP. So see what happens with that. We we'll never mm -hmm. know until I try. That's exactly right. We got to dream big. I love yep. it. I love it. I keep my uh, dream stone right here next to my courage stone. So yes, dream big. I love it. Okay. So I met you um, in the apps as, as an amazing supporter of many streamers, including myself. Yep. And thank you for that. Um, sure. And I know you have done kind of a restart, reset, refresh on your stream dream. Mm -hmm. And I know you also have some amazing, um, important stories to share with us tonight. So I would like you to lead the way. I want you to know if I ask anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, or you don't want to talk about, we just skip right over it. Um, okay. And and I, I want you to feel comfortable. I appreciate you being here and your stories. You made me just a little journey. bit bigger. Sorry? If you don't want, you didn't make me bigger. I cannot make you bigger. Oh, um, um, you said it's more the know. medium box. This, this is, is medium. medium. Box? Okay. Uh -huh. just make sure. If I do any bigger, um, I don't know how to get out of it. And okay. so that is That's something I make sure. have tried for years to do. And I really don't know how to make it small again. <laughs> it doesn't work for some reason on my iPad. I cannot get out of the large box. Okay. Uh, just when I have it. so, it's a glitchy thing. So, okay. So you are in the medium size. Can everyone see the amazing um, Princess Belle in the box? If you can, please put a crown in the chat. That is her emoji, a crown. Cool. Okay, well, she's in medium you. size on my iPad. So, okay, so this is the size I can do. Are we good with it? Yep. It is live channel, so we're live. <laughs> All right, so Princess Belle, um, you were going to tell me a bit about your journey in love and yes. in your journey in streaming. So yep. what would you like to start with first? Well, mm -hmm. My journey of love kind of ended in a abusive marriage. I met him on POF like about six years ago. Uh, you never know who you find on this dating app. You can find good people, decent idiots, you know, 
yeah, all around. So, well, I took my chance, you know, I dated a guy, I thought he was decent, you know, he lived in Gettysburg. Well, come to think of it, you know, he, we, we were, you know, good friends, you know, he's going out having fun, you know, but then when I got engaged, it was pretty good. Then when my marriage came, it went downhill quickly. So six yeah. years ago, you met someone on the platform. Yep. Right. And of course, a lot of a lot has changed over mm -hmm. the years. However, always putting safety first, y'all. Yes. The, the oh, app right. encourages that. The streamers encourage that. I would encourage every person before you meet in person to do very, um, just be very safe and smart about that. Yep. Absolutely. So, but your story is different and I want you to share it. So about six years ago, you met someone, um, you thought it was good to go mm -hmm. and you dated for how long? And then, um, you got married. I did about four years and then engaged for at least three years, then marriage. Wow. Well, one thing is that he never had a really good job. So okay. we're thinking he was using me for money because, you know, my parents had a good job, you know, and I lived under a good roof. So that's the one big thing you have to be careful of. You make sure when you do date somebody and want to be in love and all that, make sure they have a decent job. End of story. You know, that has to happen because you can't live off of one income. That's not going to happen. So I hear you. So, so some, so some things came up, maybe mm -hmm. looking back or maybe at the time. Um, however, it sounds like you believed in love and you were looking to, to be married, right? Mm -hmm. Was this your first marriage or yes, um, first marriage. Okay. First marriage. Okay. And so, um, so then what happened? So you were engaged for, while well, you were dating for a while, then you were engaged, then you married. And then uh, what took place after that? Then uh, we moved in. After we got married, we moved in. We went to like a um, quick, like a couple of days going to uh, New York City for a couple of days. It wasn't that good. I thought it would be much better, but, you know, New York is New York. You never know what's going to happen there. And um, But I did had quite a few years of marriage counseling. That does help. You never know with counseling, you know, we could go either way. So I, I went to marriage I counseling. Talk therapy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah. it, that does help, you know, talk things out, trying to figure things out does help. So, so you I mean, did try many things. Mm -hmm. I hear, you know, you didn't just quit the marriage. How long were you right. married um, in total? About two months, three months. Because okay. you, know, you, you have to you know be married for a while, and you, you actually have to be legally be married for a whole year in the Catholic faith. So you had to be married for a whole year, then I can get divorced. Kind of strange, but that's how it works. So did you stay married for the full year? Or yeah, did but you I decide... was not living with him. I was living with my parents because I felt safer underneath my parents because he can't abusively yell at me, and he was trying to hurt my dog and everything else. So that was like, oh no. So my mom said, yeah, you should move in here. You know, you'll be safer with us. So that's what happened. Absolutely. Absolutely agreed. Good choice. Very good choice. I'm proud of you and your parents. But I still believe in you. love. You never know. And you, you never give up hope. That's what I always say. Never give up hope. But always use your mind and always use your brains before you do anything. You know. Because I learned that I you can't that. you can't really jump too quickly into a relationship. You have to take your time, get to know the person, you know, figure each other out. Then you can think of doing other steps after that. Absolutely. Um, how long have you been separated from that whole experience? Like, how much time have well, you? Well, a long to time, like maybe six years, seven years. I'm not even counting, but it's been a long time. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's, so you've had a, a space away from all of that. Yep. You're safe, you're healthy, you're happier. It sounds yep. like, it looks like. Um, mm -hmm. So can you give someone, um, I hear you saying you're, you're still hopeful in love. Yep. Um, you definitely persevered through a challenging partnership, right? Mm -hmm. um, I heard you say you did marriage counseling to try mm -hmm. to see if it was salvageable. Um, but it wasn't in the long run. Um, you put yourself and your, your dog first, you put your safety 
and your little one. And those are our little children, right? Our pets. Oh, yes. And oftentimes knowing um, the cycle of abuse myself uh, as studying it and being unfortunately um, subject to it, oftentimes abusers start with inanimate objects, breaking a phone, a picture, then they go into bigger things, living things like pets or children, and yep. then on to the um, person that they're really trying to groom into the abusive situation. So again, very uh, deep talk, but very important. And I'm so grateful that you're sharing your journey. Um, so as a streamer, you mentioned you're looking to be now on your new account, um, non-VIP, but get to that top batch. Yes. So let's talk about that for a second. What does that look like to you? Um, what what can we do to support you and encourage you here on the platform? Very slow process. I didn't realize how slow it would be. And people are not really supporting me as I think they should be because I'm supporting them as much as I can. Because the only way I can do it now is by converting with tokens. That's it. So it's like, you know, wait and see what happens. But waiting is a long process. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. I get that. Yes. And a lot of us do convert. Some do cash out. You get a better rate, y'all, if you buy on the website. It's a long story. We'll talk about it after 815. But if you want some tips and tricks on how to become a more successful streamer, there's a lot of amazing streamers in here right now, including the top gifters. Um, my guest, my first guest tonight, Princess Bell. I always want to call you Sniper Bell. And, you know, <laughs> connect with them as well because they know what worked for them in their journey. And each each broadcaster builds their channel in their own way, right? So, um, mm -hmm. but what we can do right now is hit the guest box. We can favorite, fave for fave. So she says it in her bio and in her name right now. If you fave her, she will fave you back. Um, you stream, I saw you have a stream schedule linked in your bio. Um, yep. So when will you be live again? And um, what upcoming events do you have um, that you would like to let us know about? Well, no upcoming events are for going on more feature shows. I'm not doing auctions because that's not being supportive too much. So I'd rather not take my chances in auctions, but I will do feature shows so I can be more around the app that way. So I think it's that easier that way. People know more about me. Great. So, so now, is this your first featured show as Princess yes. Bell? Thank you for being here. And thank no you problem. for allowing me the opportunity to have you as a guest. I appreciate you. Um, and so looking to do more featured shows. Hello, all my show hosts in here. Yep, me. <laughs> also Instagram, of course, uh, the featured show community is a great place to network. Um, Obviously, y'all should Instagram the Plenty of Fish, Scout and Meet Me. Those are great places to network and see who's doing what on the apps. Uh, Chispa Badu, I, I know you too. <laughs> and Zeus can, okay, Cupid, we're so big. It's amazing. It's a wonderful social network. So um, thank you so much again for being my guest tonight. Everybody hit her with a fave, shower her with gifts. Sounds like she'd be happy to convert and come back and see you with gifts. Yep. And it definitely takes the trifecta, right? The viewer, mm -hmm. the gifter, and of course the broadcaster, right? The channel. Right. So um, thank you. And I hope you'll hang out for the rest of the show. Nope. Um, no problem. Okay. Love you too, You're great. I love you too. All right. I'll let you take yourself out because I always end my stream. <laughs> I'm very good at that. I know how to hit buttons, um, the wrong buttons, apparently. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome in 708 viewers. Thank you for being here. It's about 734 on the East Coast. I appreciate you. Thank you, Brittany, for being so encouraging and positive to the amazing Princess Belle. Um, she did have an important story to share, and I hope you got to hear and learn something a little bit more about her. Um, we're all in this journey of life together, and we all have value and unique experiences that make this world a better place. The diversity is what strengthens us. I believe that. I've always believed that. If anybody tells you different, think about it. <laughs> you think about it. <laughs> you come to my streams and you make the choice for yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. So 91st episode um, show. Yep. Yep. Season seven, episode seven. 
Hi, hello, welcome in. We're gonna do an after party. We have live music from Papa Bear Sings. He'll be coming on just after eight. We are right in the middle of the show. So if you have just joined us, please feel welcome to chat in the chat, encourage each other. My uh, folks in red, if you don't mind letting people know as we're proceeding with the second interview, Hot Wheels, and is he in the building? Does he come in? I think I had him bouncered, so um, is he in here? Hot Wheels, are you in here? I know he had a lot of family stuff going on, so I wanna make sure um, he's here. If not, maybe somebody could reach out to him. Maybe Kane. Singer chair reports, yes. <laughs> Okay, well, somebody go get to him on Instagram and know that he's a busy guy, too. So no pressure, um, but hopefully, I mean, we've been networking most of the day, if not weeks, about the show. Um, hi, Dale. Welcome. My name is Triple L. I am Live, Love, Laugh. I am your host tonight for the Living and Loving Show with Triple L. I know, I know, you guys want one more joke, right? Am I right? Spam the fire emojis for Hot Wheels and maybe he will come. Let's see. And I will give you another joke about butterfly, okay? Which means the readers. You're welcome. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, here we go. What did the butterfly say to the caterpillar? What did the butterfly say to the caterpillar? Hey, you look familiar. <laughs> okay, is he in here? Did he change his name? I have him bouncered, so he was Hot Wheels, but I know how y'all change names. Thank you, Grand Lake. Thank you for all the gifts. Let me shout out the top gifter of the stream so far. It is none other than Funky Not Funky. Thank you so much for being here and supporting this butterfly. <laughs> legend, top badge legend, y'all, amazing amazing individual uh wonderful streams super creative lots of good stuff over there i hung out there kind of late last night but it was a good time and queen lala future top badge queen lala in the building um big tsa energy big correspondent for the triple d the daily dish with dimples on mondays every monday at 2 p.m bunny moreno i see you amazing streamer amazing woman beautiful smart and all the good things Kane, thank you. Papa Bear, thank you. Everyone, thank you for being here. All right. So it looks like we might not have Hot Wheels. And that's okay. Like I said, he was busy today. Uh, thank you so much for all the support. Let me just check in and see if he wrote me. Maybe something came up. Let's see here. Let's just one. You messaged him. Okay, okay, okay. He might be resting. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, well, we have Papa Bear Sings. <laughs> Just figure, you know, if you're looking to kill time when- uh... Well, I have a backup plan, you know me. I always oh, do. okay. But I would love to have you in. Um, thank you for stepping in. I think maybe, because he did say he was really busy today with family stuff, so he might, you know, be resting. Um, those of you that don't know Hot Wheels, he is in a wheelchair. Um, he has a beautiful, you know, journey to share, and we can have him back at any time. He's open to that. Um, so yeah, he's he's definitely worth searching out and favoriting him. Yes, Kraken. Shout out to Kraken, big boss of the week. Um, yeah. Okay, so well, why don't we do this? I had something to share. Um, oh, do you have sure. something just... to share? Well, I was gonna, you know, just uh, be available. I just let you know I'm available, and also, oh, I have a joke. I've put it in the comments way too many times, but I don't think you saw it. I can't. Why? <laughs> why did the boy throw the butter out the window? To see the butterfly. But oh my gosh, that's great! I'm so sorry. I'm fired. <laughs> you know, definitely worth the wait. Thank you for the gifts. Um, okay, that was perfect. So do you want me to jump? You want me to jump back out until you finish um, your? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Let me um, let me do a little. Y'all, I used to teach. You know, I did. I did. I might still teach. I don't know. It's up in the air. <laughs> okay. So who knows their chakras? 
seven chakras. Yeah, yeah. Let's go for a big bonus. Come on, 40K. I saw Dan Daniel Freestyles got it last night. That was amazing. Okay, shout out to him, Top Badge Daniel. All right, here we go. So what is the, starting at the top, what is the first chakra called? So there are seven. They're basically energy centers in our body. They, you think of them as like a piston to an engine. Um, if they are very healthy and well, they're rotating at a high frequency. And um, if they're not, they can be blocked and there's healing methods for those. Um, not the dog house. Crown chakra, yes. Does anyone know the color to the crown chakra? The color associated with that. Purple. Okay. Look at y'all knowing stuff. Okay. Okay. No cheating. Put your phones down. Just kidding. I'm on it. I'm here. Don't put me down. <laughs> Get off your laptop. <laughs> I'm joking. All right. All right. Here we go. Second chakra. So we have our crown chakra, royal, divinity, purple, right? Link to the higher powers if you believe that. Okay. All right. Our, our second chakra moving down, moving down to this area. I'll give you a hint third eye. Okay. Look at these people knowing it. I love it. I love it. The pin, not the penny. That's, that's biology. <laughs> um, thank you all for joining us. This is the living and loving show um, with triple L. I'm your host. We're here every Saturday at 7 PM Eastern, even in the summer or now. Um, so this is your third eye. It is associated with a, a blue me and my daughter were kind of disagreeing. Like, is it a, what color blue? Because the next one's also blue. But let's say it's not purple. That was crown. It's like this color. And then the next one really, the throat chakra, I just gave it away, is more this color. So we're going to move it. We're going to move that here. Okay. And this will be here. <laughs> Speaker message. Okay, there we go. Throats. <laughs> you guys are so amazing. Look, I have a little cheat sheet, but I've, we're gonna, we'll say it for then. All right, so next, so we did crown, third eye, throat chakra, right? Next would be the fourth chakra, heart. It's green. Yes, it is the green heart chakra, right? Kind of like that, um, I don't know, like, um, like this color green like a heart chakra, right? Okay, moving right along. Fifth chakra, what color? Kraken, <laughs> she's like, I know this. Yellow, yes, the solar plexus. So we're moving down from the heart center down towards the core, um, if you will, towards your belly button, the solar plexus. We have two more to go. And yes, we are kind of following the colors of the rainbow. If you were wondering, shout out to June as Pride Month here um, in the United States and well, many places now. All right, so our one, two, three, four, five, six chakra is orange sacral, <laughs> the sacral or sacral chakra. <laughs> and yes, root is red. That is our lowest chakra. It is our grounding point. And actually a lot of trauma is held there from our younger years. It is the first chakra to develop. And it is also the one that um, can hold the most, uh, like I said, trauma and trauma bonds. So be, you know, be healthy, be well, take care of yourself. We're going back to the living affirmation for this week, the healthy living one, which is be kind to yourself. Um, and if you have some healing to do, don't be afraid to do it. Um, healing is important for our world, for yourself, your family, your friends, your stream channel. Okay, here we go. Let's welcome in Papa Bear Sings. Um, he's gonna do some live music. I am going to take a, a small break. I will recap a few items. Uh, of the show and like any live broadcast you never know what's going to happen and that's part of the fun um in live live tv live streaming hi artman welcome in another featured show host y'all make sure you connect with each other favorite each other support each other it is a live community and it takes us all to make it a great place for everyone all right exactly 
Hey, Art Man. Yeah. Hey, Jambi. So, yeah, Malachite, those who are talking about pain, Malachite is a great crystal for pain. You go do your thing. I'm going to play a little Cat Stevens. Wild World, because you mentioned something about it being a wild world earlier. So. La 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 Now that I've lost everything to you You say I want to start something new And it's breaking my heart you're leaving Baby I'm grieving But if you want to leave take good care Hope you have a lot of nice things to wear then a lot of nice things turn bad out there Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by, just on a smile Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world I'll remember you like a child, girl you know I've seen a lot of what the world can do And it's breaking my heart in two Cause I never want to see you sad, girl Don't be a bad girl But if you want to leave, take good care Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world it's hard to get by, just on a smile Boom, baby, baby, it's a wild world I always remember you like a child, girl But if you want to leave, take good care Hope you make a lot of nice friends out there Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Boom, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by, just upon a smile Boom, baby, baby, it's a wild world I always remember you like a child, girl Boom, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by, just upon a smile Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I always remember you like a child girl. Thank you, Pink Papa Bear. You're you. welcome. Pink should have a chakra color. It, it's not one of the chakras, but it should be. It should be. Where would we put Thank it? You. Where would we put it? I don't know. Well, it would either have to be. And, and there are some people who hold that their chakras go above and below those seven. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I would say below the root chakra, maybe where the white mixes in, because it's red is the root, maybe. There Thank you. Go. Down in here, maybe. Oh, since Fave for Fave was your first guest, I'm 30 away from 3,000. So Let's feel go. free to fave me tonight. <laughs> Everybody favorites Papa Bear things. Let's see if we can hit his 3,000 goal tonight. That would be epic. That'd be fun. Um, I would love that. No, don't fave Kraken. I'm kidding. Yes, definitely fave Kraken. Yes, favorite Kraken. Absolutely, everybody favorite. Thank you, everybody. love of life. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, how far? Oh, yes, yes. Everybody favorite Kraken. Favorite Greg Lover. Wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, you know what? He's on his laptop. Maybe it stopped working. The comments. Um, J and B favorite J and B. Yes, if you wanna save. Say fave me in the chat. Fave or fave? I'm back. I'm back. Yes. Okay, because I can see myself on my computer, but that doesn't always mean that I'm back. Let's go. Fave or fave. And and what I'll do is after the show, I will go look into my faves and whoever favored me, I will add you back. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, where are you at? Oh, 10 minutes till the show ends. Do you want some more music? Um, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to look up. Um, you don't have to do it yet. I mean, I, I got music. I got books. How many books do you want? How many notes do you it, want? It's, it's up to you. It's I mean, you know, your show. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, here, 
I'm, I'm just here to serve. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. Um, and you all, Papa Bear Sings does the closing music or kind of the after party starts for many shows. How many shows have we been doing together now? Probably. Gosh, it's been it's been months. So I'm, I'd have to look back on Instagram to see when it actually started. Right. But it's, I was I, it was that. shortly after I show I shortly after I guessed it on your show. There we go. I think we met and you're like, oh, and I asked you, hey, would you ever want closing music? And you're like, oh, you're which, which is my lesson for the day. You have to ask. Say yes to life. Y'all. Yes. You say yes. Well, that was her. But, you know, had I not asked, if I had not asked you, it's not like you would have just randomly went, I think he told me he plays music. I think I'll ask him to play music every week. It was, I asked, I played you some and you're like, okay, but you got to ask sometimes. That's true. That's true. Um, I do not, but I know, I mean, I'm 420 friendly for those that do. Um, no judging over here. Okay. So I have this cool book. Again, I mentioned Louise Hay because she is someone I look up to. She's in heaven now, but she was very um, instrumental in the 1980s during the AIDS um, when it first kind of shook the world at, a, at the core. And she was about healing and how we could heal our own bodies um, through healing from traumas. And, you know, that physical ailments are often from things that we either haven't let go of or are still holding on to, or, you know, there's just many different reasons, right? So she wrote this book, You Can Heal Your Life. And I wondered if someone in here has something, uh, an ailment that they're open to sharing. You do not have to that they would like me to look up because it's almost like a um, it's like a guide to the ailment and what um, can help it heal naturally. Um, wait, what? So okay. not funky you said one of the biggest secrets in life is if you don't ask, you don't get others can't read your mind. Aha. Uh -huh. So we should ask. And just that act, just that that act of asking, you know, it's taking an action. Taking an action is so important. Okay, so maybe I should I go first? Nobody wants to say their ailment. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. <laughs> oh, can I do heart stuff? <laughs> sure. Let's see what they've got can for. I... She's got a couple different things on heart. Okay. Well, if you already know. That's the thing I love about you, Papa Bear. You're a well, you know what? I, I actually haven't looked it up since I found out that I have some heart issues. So I okay. So let's look it up together. Thank you for being willing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Um, heart. So, like you said, it's many things. So it does say you can see blood, of course. Um, it says a heart attack or myocardial, and that sounds kind of like what you were talking about and problems so do we want to do heart attack or heart problems problems heart problems, problems. yes okay because so i did not have a heart attack right so heart problems it says um and let me make sure i get the, t the beginning what it says at the beginning. okay the probable cause and then the new thought pattern that can help heal it okay hi silly lily welcome in everybody oh hey lily okay all right so Heart problems. It could be long-standing emotional problems, lack of joy, um, hardening of the heart, or belief in strain and stress. Uh, an opposing thought that could help healing, right, is joy, joy, joy. I lovingly allow joy to flow through my mind and my body and experience. So it's definitely something where I know for me, I have to affirm it often if I'm trying to change a thought pattern or a feeling. So what is that? How does that speak to you? Yeah, that nails it. We're pretty, pretty straight on. Does that's, it? that's why Zell constantly reminds me to smile because, because of the trauma I endured in the past. Um, yeah. Smile is not my, my resting face is nothing near a smile. And my, my, what do I call it? My research face looks very much like I'm angry. I'm not trying to be, I'm just, you know, focused and concentrating, but it comes across looking. So yeah, I have to remind myself regularly, joy, joy, joy. So thank you. That was spot on. Okay. 
Well, all right. So you guys look into getting this book. I'm sure they have it digitally. I believe in book books. I like to hold a book, take it to the pool, take it in the car. Yep. Sit it well, next she's to got, and you use some of her cards too. She's got some great cards yeah. too. Yeah. This is the one it's life loves you affirmation cards, 52 cards y'all. You just pick one a day or you can do multiple a day and, and then read the affirmation. I opened my mind to say yes to life. Wow, that was pretty cool because we were just talking about saying yes. And then you flip it over and it says, life is inviting you to experience a whole new level of happiness, healing, prosperity, success, and love. So um, definitely someone to yeah. look into. Oh, she, another one she's got is um, their power thought cards. I have that one actually somewhere. Power cards, so. okay. Power of thought. Oh, Carolyn Mace. I don't know if you've talked about her before. I don't remember. I don't think they have. Feel free to share. I don't know. Um, She's got oh, some emoji J's in here. Emoji J, are you going to do the outro really quick? Do, 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 oh, okay. Do, do, do. Okay. Can we do that I'll really quick? Okay. Be... Thank you, Papa Bear. And then um, we'll let you do one or two more songs or as many as you want, really. And thank you, Emoji J, for letting us play that again. Again, this is a piece that he created with me, and it's dear and near to my heart. So please enjoy the music. Thank you for joining the show. Um, it's a little different than some of the weeks, but that makes what life exciting, right? Um, join me next week, Living and Loving with Triple L, 7 p.m. Eastern. We have new top badge, Booyah Boy. Just got a top badge yesterday. So exciting. And uh, another guest that I'm still uh, in the works with. So here we go. Shout out to Emoji J. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Up. Up. Put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. I want to be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where Ever I look, she's standing in the crowd So I like a bad car I don't want to, but I'm gonna try when she yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know Maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light I'm so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town I've heard of this place where People forget and you get another try So come open up my door I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by I won't see your face where Ever I look, I'm blinded by the light Let go, I don't want to, but I'm gonna try When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside You know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright Cause I just wanna see the light Thank you, Emoji J. Oh, I love it.